Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick Philadelphia Phillies versus Boston Red Sox series recap. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Let's get right into it. The Phillies, again, have another lousy series as they completely got torched against Boston in two, and then were able to salvage the series in game three, which we'll get to soon. But in the first game, they lost 11-3. to the game was not completely out of shambles. It was only 3-2 after Danny Santana homered in the fifth, who the Phillies got going. He just went to Boston, was able to homer twice in this series, have a big series for the Red Sox. So nice pickup for them, not so nice for the Phillies. Uh, Gene Segura was able to homer in this game, really one of the only pluses from this game because the Phillies fielding blunders came right to strike them in the butt again as they had three errors in this game. The particular one that seemed to kind of just stout their whole entire momentum was in that aforementioned fifth inning when Xander Bogart singled and J.D. Martinez was caught in between second and third and Alec Bohm threw it away, which was able to make it 5-2 to two after that play. After that, the only good play the Phillies had for the rest of the game was a Bohm single that made it 6-3, to three. but then the Red Sox on a Devers homer in the 7th and a Vasquez double in the ninth put it away, and that's what got it to 11-3. to three. The Phillies really, it just seemed like they lost all momentum in this game. They lost all fight after that 5th inning error. That just kind of completely stunted their momentum. And Martin Perez, who was really dominating them from the jump, had 7 strikeouts, who is a location artist pitcher, not a strikeout guy, was able to get them on 7 strikeouts. He only walked 1, gave up 3 earned and only 5 hits. So the Phillies were not really able to get on base to even talk about their struggles with runners in scoring position because they were not able to generate enough and went 2 for 7 because they weren't able to generate enough people on base. This game, the Phillies couldn't get anything really going on Perez from the jump, but at least it was still a close game. It was only 3-2. to two. Then you make a big fielding error, and that's the complete deciding factor in that game that let that game go haywire, and then it was all downhill from there in the 11-3 to three loss. Then we followed up on Saturday with a 4-3, to three, something with the number 3 in the Phillies losing in this series, a 4-3 to three loss where the Red Sox... Um, in this game, through Nathan Ovaldi, um, accompanied by Spencer Howard for the Phillies, who looked fantastic through two, and then started sputtering and lost it. We saw that last year going deep into games. He loses his velo a bit. He doesn't have it and hasn't had that kind of spunk on his pitch and like fire to it, the spin rate, all the uh, new rave stuff to his pitches, where Evaldi did, where he went through five and a third, didn't pitch his best game, but was able to get two earned runs and four strikeouts, walked two, but pitched a good enough game, kept Boston in it. Taylor came in, Valdez came in for them, gave up nothing. Hernandez, Adovino, and Barnes all came in and gave up nothing, where the Phillies also of late, yes, their bullpen's been better in a grand scheme as a whole this year, but that's not hard coming off of last year. They don't have enough games like this where you look at the bullpen other than Valdez did actually gave up one, I, I'm mistaken. He's the guy that gave up the hit to Bohm. But other than that, you have a bunch of rows of people having success in the series. The Phillies have lost. That's when guys like Kinsler have gave up their big solo home runs. Or guys um, like before he got injured, Jojo Romero just did not pitch all too well. So there, there's certain things that the Phillies still need to solve. They are kind of a mediocre team right now because of winning some games through a lot of flaws. And one of those flaws is they don't consistently put a bunch of bang, bang, bang games together in their bullpen where you have like three or four guys coming to the game and only one guy gives up something of late. They were doing that earlier better. They're not doing it as well of late. But they lost that game 4-3. to three. Spencer Howell looked good through two, looked very strong through two, then lost it. So now the big thing for him is how to extend him and get him to go deeper into games and kind of find that steady rate velo. You have to find what consistent velo you can stay at for the game and then what velo you're able to turn it up from when you rear back. And I don't think Howard has really done that yet, but I think he will get there. Then finally, finally in the final game of the series, the Phillies are able to put something together. Zach Wheeler pitches a lightning-esque game, an absolutely fireball game, going seven and a third, giving up only one. He had 12 strikeouts. He was absolutely electric in this game. Only one mistake pitch on the home run 
there to uh, Frenchy Cordero that he smoked into uh, right field. But other than that, Zach Wheeler was absolutely electric. Reese Hoskins and Brad Miller got us going early on a single for Reese and a homer for Miller off of the mesh net of the fair pole, excuse me, to make it 4 nothing. And the Phillies didn't look back from there because of the great start by Wheeler. Then Kutch and Odubel added on some insurance runs to make it 6-1. And then Devers was just able to homer to add an extra run off for Archie Bradley. But then that's all she wrote for that game. The Phillies were actually able to walk away with a win and get a nice win, a nice two-thirds of an inning for Alvarado coming in and getting the final two out of the eighth inning when Wheeler gave up the home run, so he pitched well in that game as well. And then Bradley gave up the one run, but pitched well around it, and they were able to win 6-2. to two. So at least the Phillies are able to salvage this series. That's the only positive. Other than that, they still obviously did not do well with one, just generating enough people on base against Perez especially, and also Evaldi and then the Sox bullpen afterwards. And then two, if they even once they got the minimal amount of people on base, because this series really just didn't generate enough people on base to begin with, you weren't able to drive them in. The only game they were able to do that, of course, was game three, where they're able to salvage the series. They go three for nine, which is all right, which is um a, well actually no, that's a good batting average. I, I I'm actually mistaken. Three for nine because baseball, yeah, that would be really good. Um, they actually finally had a solid batting average with runners in scoring position. But that's one game. They need to now try to build on that as they're now going to face the dreaded Miami Marlins again who just play the Phillies really well in a four-game series starting tonight down in Miami as I'll be doing a series preview for that next. Stay tuned for that. But you got to stay with being able to get guys on, being able to drive them in. The big thing in this series is you could even get freaking people on in the first two games where you even have the struggling runners and scoring position numbers. And then when you could finally get people on in game three, you actually did drive them in. So hopefully you can build on game three. The Phillies, as far as I'm concerned, coming into tonight, you got to take two out of four at least from the Marlins in the next series, because you're coming in one game under 500. You got to stay in that middle ground because you're winning through flaws now. And then hopefully, if things can get churning, you can kind of get going and be stacking up some wins to get a couple games over 500. But that's kind of a prelude to the series preview. I hope you all enjoyed this series recap of the Phillies versus the Boston Red Sox, where it was absolutely disastrous for two. And then the Phillies are able to get the win and salvage the series in the final game of the series. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Enjoy the day. And hopefully, we enjoy some Phillies baseball this week against the Florida Marlins. Peace out, everybody.